The next place you're probably going to go when you're doing your integration is integration by parts. It's a lovely, lovely method. What we're doing is we're looking for a, a U and a DV um, in a particular function that we can't necessarily do U sub on. Here, if we tried to let that be U, then DU would be E to the X and that piece isn't there. Here, if we let that thing be U, then DU would be DX. But then what do you do with E to the X? Here, the derivative is not embedded in the integral. So what we're going to try to do is part this up into two pieces, two different functions, if you will. One being a derivative and the other one being a function. So here, what I intend to do is let, I'll do this over here in my green example. I'm going to let the u part of my function be something that's easily differentiable. I'm going to let u be x. Okay, so then du is going to be dx. Nice. Almost getting rid of it in its entirety. Why do I want that? Because it's easy to integrate over here. So then here, I'm going to let dv equal e to the minus x dx. Hello. All right, now that I've done that, I want to integrate both sides. Why? Because I need to get my u piece so that I could stick it in my by parts form. So then I integrate the left side, integrate the right side. Over here I get v, and then on the right, I gotta make a little u sub. I'm gonna let u equal minus x dx. So then du turns out to be minus, whoop, minus dx. And then I can make my substitution back in here. This is the integral e to the u du, once I get that minus sign out front. And then I can integrate that. That's e to the u. Uh-huh. Back sub in my x. And this is going to be e to the minus x. Now I'm leaving off the plus c because we're going to get it in that piece of integration. All right, fine, far out. So then in my green example, with all this work on the side, I can go through and with my v and my du and my u, I can go through and rewrite this integral as u x v e to the minus x. Oop, there's a minus out front here. Minus e to the minus x minus the integral of v. Here I found my v to be a minus e to the minus x du, which is dx. All right, far out. I'm going to take this down here so that my little hump right here doesn't get in the way. This is minus x e to the minus x. The minus and minus make plus e to the minus x the integral of e to the minus x dx. But wait, there's more. We've already integrated this guy. Great. So then, this is minus x e to the minus x. And the integral of e to the minus x, this guy, after our substitution, is going to be minus e to the minus x. And then here's where we're going to pick up our plus c. All right, we could have had the c here, but it's a constant. A constant plus a constant, a constant. All right, fine. I guess it would have messed a little bit with that. So I could clean up the algebra here, and I think I will. I'm going to pull out a minus e to the minus x. And then left over on the inside, I have an x plus 1 plus that c. And at that point, you're done.
And a flower. Now I'm gonna fade the black. I'm gonna come over here to this example. Here we look and we're like, can we do substitution? If I let you be natural log of x, then the derivative of that would be 1 over x. And you think you're in the clear until you see that square. Did it to you again. Oh no! So here I want to try parts. In order to try parts, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you be the thing that's easily differentiable. Or the thing that you don't necessarily know the integral to. So I'm going to let you be the natural log of x. It's our natural choice. So then here, you're going to be the natural log of x. So then du is 1 over x dx. Does that sound about right? Yeah, we're goods. We're goods. So then that means my other part, dv, dv going to be 1 over x squared dx. All right, cruising down that road. I'm going to try to integrate each one of these sides dv and the integral of x to the minus 2. Don't mind me using my negative exponents. dx. Left on the left side, I got v. And on the right, I add 1 and divide by it. So I have minus x to the minus 1, which is minus 1 over x. All right. So I have my pieces. I have my u. I have my du, dv, and v. So I'm going to go and I'm going to plug this guy. From my left side, I have my u and my dv. I'm going to plug it into the right side. So my u turned out to be natural log of x. I'm going to multiply that by my v, which is minus 1 over x. And I'm going to subtract off my new integral from my parts, v minus 1 over x du 1 over x dx all right i'm gonna go clean it i'm gonna clean it up over here this is the natural log of x all over x minus and minus make plus the integral oh look at that x to the minus 2 dx and then we know how that guy integrates. Uh-huh. And then the minus and minus. Oh, already took care of it. This is the natural log of x over x minus 1 over x plus my c. T he. T he. And then I'm going to clean that up once more. Mm-hmm. I guess I could leave it like that. But if I got the same base, I can add them. Natural, or same denominator, natural log of x minus 1 all over x plus c, t he, t he. And for clarity, I'm going to write that as a natural, or 1 plus the natural log of x all over x. Should have been a minus on that one, huh? A minus out there, and a minus right there. And forget about it, because I can pull that minus one out of the numerator and have a minus one plus the natural log of x plus c. And that looks better to me. Avag. And a flag.